the material you played this morning, uh, how much, w w what's it comprised of? New stuff, old stuff? Uh, out of out of the hour set I did, I played, I think, two uh, old tracks and one that was on my One Party State album. Otherwise, all new stuff, I've, I've been trying to finish it for, for this gig. It's the first time yeah, anyone's ever heard it, really. Well, you, you're billed as Kalahari Surfer, not Kalahari Surfers. Is that, uh, is that a typo or is that intentional? I'm still working with the idea of, 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 of separating myself from myself. The Kalahari Surfers was always me. It was a plural. It was based on the idea that I'd share the blame out with a whole bunch of other people because during the 80s I, I, I did very political stuff and I was a bit nervous about the state and, and the, 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 the iron glove of the state. So I try to make it seem, they, they're actually even um, fictional people on my record covers. Like there's a guy called Amschlanger Rocks who always plays bass and you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of that. So, so I'm still thinking I might come out of the covers and, uh, and just be a, a surfer like everyone else. Um, so in, in electronic music now, do you think there's there's a space for political statements or, or making political uh, ideas available to the listening to the dancing audience. Well, I'm not. You know, I, I think everything's political. If you don't make a political statement, that's a huge political statement. So I, I, I like to express myself. I get angry. I, you know, I come out of punk. I used to play in punk bands. So I've approached electronic music from punk, and punk was political. Um, and, and, and that's what I do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trained at that. I, I, see what, I, I see things, I get angry, I see things in a certain way. So I respond to them in that way. So, like I, I did a track called Blue Light Brigade, which was, which was based about, you know, around that story of that young guy who was cycling on his, on his, on his bicycle and got knocked over by a government minister's uh, Blue Light cavalcade that went through and he's now in a coma. So, yeah, that sort of thing, you know, makes me angry. <laughs> so I express it, and I, I like that. I like doing that. Yeah, irony. I like playing with irony. I like playing with uh, things that make that kind of make you laugh, also, because South Africa is such a fucked up place. I think you know, Waddy gets it right with that, the kind of the Zef thing. It, it's kind of it is a fucked up place, and I think everything we do is political, and it's most political to be silent. <laughs> oh. um. uh, there, there is definitely a, a United States of amnesia. Um, in, in, in a sense that people don't like to have their fun spoiled. Uh, you know, here's, here's a guy who's spoiling, yeah, we don't want to think about that stuff. But I've noticed with the younger generation, my children are learning about apartheid at school, they're learning about a lot of stuff, uh, and they don't always enjoy it. Um, but often they say, they, they, they kind of, they, they wow, I, I didn't know this stuff existed. You know, why didn't anyone tell us how, you know? But we, we need to remember, you know, it's like the Holocaust. One, one has to actually, Bear in mind that that stuff shouldn't be allowed to happen again. Uh, although it's, it's a bore, but you can make it interesting.